In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the use case diagram for the topic online examination system. So before watching this video, please do watch the video on the symbols of use case diagram. You should know what are the symbols that we need to use in drawing the use case diagram. And also I have uploaded many videos with various examples on how to draw the use case diagram for various topics. So please do watch those videos. Then you watch this video for better understanding. I have attached the link of all of those videos in the description box. So please do check that once. Then continue with this video. Okay. So what is the first step in drawing the use case diagram? We need to select the actors. So actor. What is the symbol of an actor? This is the symbol of an actor. So you need to draw an actor like this online examination system. So who are involved in an exam? Main persons who are involved will be student, next faculty members. Or you can call them as teachers in, in school system. In college system, you can call them as faculty members. So this diagram I'm going to draw for the college but you can use the same diagram for the school also. The only thing is you need to change the name of the actor from faculty member to teachers. So here the first actor I'm going to name as student. Next, the second actor are the faculty members. Faculty members. So this is for the college. So I have written faculty members. So these are the two actors who are involved in the online examination system. If you take online examination system, student is necessary to take up the examination. Next, to check your answer sheet, you need a faculty member. Next, for setting up the question paper, also you need the help of the faculty member. After setting up the question paper, someone needs to answer those things right answer all the questions given in the question paper so that role the student can only play so for examination system important actors are student next faculty members if you take school in the place of faculty member you can write teachers so this is your first step second step is you need to draw the use cases use cases you need to draw separately for student and separately for faculty members. Separate use cases for students, separate use cases for faculty members. So if you take student, since this is online system, first the student needs to register his or her name to a particular portal. Only if the student registers his or her name along with the details in a particular portal, the student will be able to access that portal and take up the examination in that portal. So the first use case will be register. And always remember the use case needs to be written inside the oval shape. So first register should happen. So while registering what the student has to do, the student needs to fill in the online form. Fill the online form form this is a use case so it needs to be written inside the oval shape next next use case will be answer the questions answer the questions so questions will be asked in the question paper the student needs to answer all those questions next after answering all the questions given in the question paper the student needs to submit those answers Submit the answer paper. After submitting the answer paper, the student can view the exam results. Can view the exam results. How much score the student has obtained. That the student can view. Next, login. Login is very important. Because the student needs to first log in inside the portal. Then only the student will be able to follow these operations. 
So the first most important step is the student needs to register herself or himself in the portal. How can you register? By filling in the online form that is provided by them. They ask for certain details. Only when you submit those details and if those details are true, you will be permitted to access that portal. So that is your first step. After doing that, you need to log in using your credentials and you can enter into the portal. After entering into the portal, you will be able to see the question paper. You can answer all those questions. After answering for the questions asked in the question paper, you can submit your answer sheet. After submitting the answer paper, after a few days, you will get the result. You will get the marks for the answers that you have submitted. So you can view the exam results. So this is the procedure. This is the process which the student can do inside an online portal for taking up an examination. So now these are the actors and these are the use cases. Now I need to connect the actor with the use case. So how can I connect? I can connect the actor and the use case using a connector. So what is a connector? This line from the actor to the use case. This is known as a connector. This line is known as a connector. Using this line, I need to connect to all the use cases the student has. Submit paper, next view the exam results, log in. So register, under register process only this fill online form is coming. So I'm not supposed to connect this use case directly with the actor student because the student actor is registering so i am correct connecting it directly for registration you need to fill the online form so from this step only i need to connect to this step so i have to connect these two use cases by putting a dotted line now inside this, I'm going to write like this, put double thing like this and write include. Why I'm writing include? There are two stereotypes. This dotted line with an arrow is known as stereotype. Under stereotype and use case diagrams, there are two types. One is include and another one is extend. Here I'm using include. Include means compulsory. Compulsory means for registering, filling the online form is mandatory. It is compulsory. You have to fill the online form. Only if you fill the online form, you will be able to proceed with the next steps. Otherwise, you cannot proceed with the further steps. So that is the reason why I have used include here. So this dotted line is nothing but stereotype. So for the stereotype, there are two types. One is include, one is extend. So, include means mandatory. This step has to happen. Sometimes we'll use extend. Extend means you can do that or you need not do that. It is not a must. It is your wish. Now, filling a feedback form means it is our wish. If we want to fill the feedback form, we can fill. If we are not interested, we need not fill. So, what stereotype I have to use in that case? I have to use extend. Whereas here I'm using include because filling the online form is mandatory. So include, directly you are not supposed to write include on top of the dotted arrow line. You have to put these two, this symbol and close like these two and then only write it in between that. So we have seen the use cases for the actor student. Now use cases for the actor faculty member. Even faculty member needs to log in first. They need to log in first. So login is common for student as well as for faculty member. For entering into certain portal, the login, login is the first step. You need to register. That is the first step for the students. For faculty members, they will have direct access. They need not register. The registering process will already be done by the college for them. So they can directly log in and enter into the portal. Whereas for students, each and every student needs to register. Then only they can log in using their credentials and perform these operations. So faculty members, they can directly log in. After login, what operations they can do, the use cases, set the question paper. So for the exam, the faculty members only need to 
set the question paper so now set the question paper then what they can do they can add questions they can add questions in the question paper next they can view the questions which they have added at last to check whether they have added all the questions correctly or they have missed some questions next if you feel this question is not necessary you can delete the question also so these operations can be performed by the faculty member inside the portal the faculty can add the questions next the faculty can view all the questions that has been added by them next they can delete the questions which are not necessary next they can also update the questions they want to change some number now if you take some max question you want to change the number in a particular numerical problem you can update by changing that number so these operations can be performed inside the portal by the faculty members so now i'm connecting the faculty member to this set question paper use case using the connector now after setting the question paper only i can perform all these operations so i should not connect these use cases with the actor i have to connect them with this set question paper use case so i'm drawing dotted lines and connecting them like this and inside this i'm writing extend i am writing extend for all the four extend 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 means it is not compulsory so these are the stereotypes as i told earlier there are two stereotypes one is include and one is extend here i am using extend because these things are not compulsory not mandatory it is the faculty's choice if the faculty wants the faculty can add the questions so the faculty has already set the question paper if the faculty wants to add further questions if it is necessary if the if it is the faculty's wish only if the faculty requires he or she needs to add the question it is not compulsory next if the faculty wants to view those questions again the faculty can view it is not mandatory if the faculty wants to delete some questions only if necessary the faculty needs to delete otherwise it is not compulsory next updating the questions only if the faculty wants to make updation in certain questions the faculty needs to do that in other cases it is not mandatory so these operations are not a must only if it is necessary for the faculty to do they will perform these operations that is the reason why i have written extend inside all of these stereotypes next the faculty member will declare the results will declare the results so this is one use case i have connected from actor to this use case using a connector next email results inside the portal also you can post the results and also through the email you can share your results so this is again a stereotype i have to use extend this is not mandatory if you want to send the results even through email you can share it if you if you are not interested to share the results through email then you can stop here itself you just need to declare the results in the portal and leave if you are interested to share the results in the email also you can do it it is not mandatory if you want you can do or else you need not do so these are the use cases for the actor faculty members so in this way you need to draw the use case diagram first you need to draw the actors next the use cases next you need to use the stereotypes include or extend include means compulsory you have to do that extend means it is not compulsory if you wish to do you can do otherwise you need not do next you are joining the actor and the use case using the connector and don't forget you need to write the use case inside the oval shape next stereotype please draw the dotted arrow line and then don't forget to put this symbol and then write extend or include inside it 
So the last step after this is drawing a system boundary. Drawing a system boundary is very easy. Leaving the actors, you need to draw a big box like this. Only the actors you need to leave. The rest needs to come inside the box. Only the actors should be outside this box. The use cases, the connectors, the stereotypes, everything else needs to fit inside the box. So this full box is known as the system boundary. The last step is you need to give a name for this system boundary. So here I'm giving the name for this as online examination system. I need to write the name inside this system boundary box. The name should be related to the diagram that I have drawn. So here I have drawn the diagram for online examination system. So the name for this system boundary also I am giving it as online examination system. It should be written inside this box only. Only actors should be outside the box. The remaining part of the diagram should fit inside the system boundary box only. So in this way you need to draw the use case diagram for online examination system. If you have any doubts, please ask in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much.